guys, uh, it's Anna Anders Humbly here, humanly here today. Today is January 5th, 2021, and uh, I just happened to be in my kitchen this morning. I was trying to spruce up some turkey sausage, and I thought I'd make some uh, a combination of brown rice and black beans, and I spruced up that turkey sausage. And by the way, folks, I'm going to throw something out here for you. When we buy cilantro and garlic and all that happy stuff that's uh, basically Sacred Mother Earth's uh, natural fruits and vegetables, when we buy, when we use this stuff in the kitchen, once you turn on that flame on those vegetables, you actually uh, kill the original organic nutritional value values and supplements for our so beautiful bodies. So be careful in your preparation of foods so that they can actually help to encourage uh, body immunity. See, we were born with natural immunities that God gave us. So, um, and garlic and cilantro is a uh, power um, builder for the body immunity sy immune system. So what I'm getting at here is, like I said, I had some brown rice, I cooked up some ground turkey, and at the last minute I threw in my chopped... Um, cilantro and sh fresh shredded garlic and this was after I turned the flame off on the turkey that was already cooked with some onion and green pepper so yeah so be careful how you do your you do your dishes I'm doing my pasta now when I do my pasta I add the fresh shredded garlic as a last uh, resort to my pasta and I can tell you there's a bang in difference and uh, my body soul appreciates it too but in the meantime, I was prompted and inspired to do this video because I pulled out a can of black beans here. See here? I pulled out this can of black beans, and it said Desert Farms. And I thought, that's so cool because I have a home in the desert, and I lived in the home. I lived in the desert uh, for a long time there in Arizona, so in Coconino County and Navajo County. So I want to show you something, though. I was interested in what the ingredients were, and it says... Uh, water, black beans, and salt. And I thought, oh, that's interesting. Okay, so good. Sounds really good. And then I go further to find that it says lovingly distributed by corporations of the presiding bishop of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, Salt Lake City, Utah. Any questions or comments? Call 1-800-537-5947. So I'm going to call them today because I want to find out if their beans were God-inspired or how they were inspired. So there's going to be a part two to this video. It's going to be fun to do it, though, because uh, what I want to say, too, further is that did you guys know, did you guys know that the uh, the Mormons, the Church of the Jesus Christ, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, uh, the Mormons, that they they call themselves the record keepers. They are the record keepers of all births and uh, all tribes of people and um, people from all backgrounds. So how did they get that assignment is what Grandma Anna wants to know. How did they get the assignment for keeping inventory on our humanity and on our families? Now that's a deep question of the day. So that's what I'm really going to ask them when I call them about their beans. Because sometimes Grandma Anna just thinks that people are full of beans. And I'm not kidding you. And our history is full of beans too. So, um, but I'm going to find out. I want to get to the bottom of this uh, bean history, okay? So one bean at a time. Uh, one video at a time. I'm humbly Anna Anders on this YouTube channel. And honestly, I don't think that God assigned the... Uh, the Latter-day Saints, the Church of Jesus Christ, Latter-day Saints Salt, of Salt Lake City. I don't think God assigned them to keep records, to be the record keepers of all families. I'm going to be honest about that one. So, Carrie, you're Native American, honey. Do you believe that they uh, were divinely uh, appointed to uh, keep records for everybody? No. What do you think that was about? Uh, federal government uh, enforcing uh, patent power and control Pat patent power and paper form and you know, I guess delegated them mm -hmm. because uh, because they were back in the day even before the 1400s uh, 
they were already militantly trying to uh, enforce school, writing English, knowing English, and taking away indigenous and languages. Were also uh, enforcing their religion, mm -hmm. which wasn't agreeing with our Hopi and Tewa tribal ways. So um, there's many uh, revolt and uh, actual murders and death to prove that. Mm -hmm. Can you give, me, give us an example? Uh, wouldn't Kings Canyon be an example on? Kings Canyon is one of the, yes, and the enforced uh, boarding schools. Right. Because, uh, they did uh, quite some years during their, where they were uh, so enforcing that they were uh, taking children from their parents from their and, families, um, shipping them off or training them off to uh, other states or to, other countries. To, assi to assimilate the children not to be uh, Native American and to get rid of their, to strip them of their indigenous right. tribal traditions and true bloodlines and cultural uh, traditions. So this is what happened. And Carrie's family was directly affected by that on her both her grandma's side and grandfather's side too because he, her grandfather, your grandfather had to even change his name to hide because uh, they were looking for people with their names and stuff, correct? Correct. And they, okay. they also infiltrated that too to okay. put Bahana and uh, English names, As British a, you know, militant people. Colonial names. Colonial names, as well as uh, presidential names. Very good. Okay, we're going to end this video way too long right now, but we're going to do a part two. Thank you for joining us, joining us here today in our, um, I want to say bitchin' kitchen. Here, hold on a minute. I'll show you what I made because this is the uh, turkey meat with all the fixings on it. Okay, thanks a lot. Cedar sage tea. Oh, cedar sage tea, and we're burning our cedar. and, and uh, Cedar homa. Cedar homa. Cedar sage homa. For all families everywhere, We're, that's our prayer and meditation stuff, and so that's it. 2021. There we go. Bye-bye.